we have the inventory records for a company which is tracking a particular widget for the two months of January and February 2024. Um, they have an initial inventory of 200 units, which they value at $5 per unit for a total value of $1,000. Uh, there are three transactions of purchases and three transactions of sale. We need to assign dollar values to the sale um, three transactions, and then we will sum up these three values to calculate the total cost of goods sold. And we will also find the value of inventory at the end to give us the total inventory value at the end of two months. Let us start with the weighted average cost um, method. You already know the formula so that we can speed up a bit here. Um, so first I have 170 units uh, which I purchased on the 4th of January for $6 each. So my total unit is equal to 200 plus 170 which is 370 units. And uh, my weighted average cost would be the 200 units times uh, its price plus the 170 units times its unit car price and divided by the total quantity so five dollars and uh, the total value is equal to 370 units into this multiplication i'm going to copy this multiplication formula here so that uh, i can be uh, it makes my calculations easier anyways now i issue 150 i sell 150 and the value that I sell it is obviously my weighted average um, cost, which is $5.46. Um, I'm going to copy this um, here. Um, and the value is nothing but the 150 multiplied by dollar uh, $5.46. So now I have uh, how much? 370 minus 150 because I've already sold that and uh, its value is the same i have not bought new so it does not change the value now i buy 190 units um, so it's equal to 220 plus 190 so my total units is 410 and uh, the weighted average cost uh, all i'm going to do i can copy this uh, calculation um, from here to get uh, 6.71 go ahead you can try and um, check but it'll be $6.17 for this uh, total value. Um, now I have to issue 230 right and uh, the price I issue those 230 will be the weighted average price um, and uh, the total value of that sale will be equal to 230 times 6.17 so dollar one four one nine point eight seven, and uh, the amount of inventory will be 410 minus 230 and uh, the value of again um, I have sold inventory so it does not change the value um, and uh, these are the numbers we have the next two steps are again exactly similar in fact we can copy these two formulas and paste them here um, and uh, it will give us the exact uh, numbers because this would be equal to whatever this number is I can copy this formula Yes, so um, these are the values of inventory that we have or the sale and our total cost of goods sold is equal to sum of this column here. Uh, this is our total cost and the total value of inventory that we have is nothing but this value that we declare at the end of the transaction table. Uh, remember these values uh, and I'll bring them up in a later video again. But these are the uh, cost of goods sold and the value of inventory as reported by the weighted average cost method.